so this is kind of a MacGyver job. I'll explain in a second. So, I'm trying to get fiber from that corner of the home all the way there. You can see my clear curve fiber line is running all the way across the building to that side. And from here, it's going to be spliced through a conduit. The concrete starts right there. So I couldn't bring the conduit any further and the, the client opened up the trench for me and he's completely happy with this. I'm going to install duct seal here to seal that and I just transitioned this way. I initially wanted to do some 45s but I couldn't find any at the hardware store. And from here he requested I, that I just surface mount along the fence the conduit that leads all the way to the back of the property which you'll see at a later part in the video. And uh, yeah, so right now I'm just going to do the splice right here and uh, connect it to this one and then go finish over there. So probably speed run through this. That's about all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna cut it there. Don't need this. And I just forgot one thing, which is fine. Just gonna open this up first. Expose the first layer. back the second layer and then the third layer see that the piece that comes off I'm gonna clean that better just want to get that prepped just gonna get gonna open this up I'm gonna take my gloves off Full light through there. This gets passed through here. So this is a cleaver. We're going to cleave the fiber down to the appropriate size. to seal it in that's good now we just finish wrapping it in here the bend radius for this has to be gentle this should be okay 
curve. Now we're gonna get the rest of my clear curve. It's gonna bring it in here. And ideally, I'd like to bring it in behind here, which I should have thought of first. I will saddle that down after. that we don't kink it. This may seem a little sloppy but just trying to get the job done before we like the queen in there. This part in here to the house over there I went for the holidays. I'll be in here to damage that end. This in the best way. Looks good there. I'm happy with that. Just this left to mount. I'm gonna mount it there. Put this stuff away. Okay. Got that part done over there. Just wanted to show the path that we took. Not a big fan of running it like this, but that's what the customer wanted. I think in the future they're planning on putting some utilities to the back and they're gonna trench it in. And there should be enough slack to get it in this. I ran this before the holidays. Just zip tied to the fence. Losing daylight here, but I'm pretty much done outside. One thing I forgot is to bring silicone for there, but I will bring it back. I'm gonna be working in that utility room over there. Nice new build. Beautiful view. Kootenai Lake. Alrighty, we're ready, ran the conduit here, saddled it to the wall, just need to come back and seal this. So normally this drop cable wouldn't be ran inside because it's not fire rated but this is technically an outdoor utility shed and it's going to the panel, which where the drop usually goes to. So I'm just gonna saddle it here and install my, my stuff right here. Let's get it done. and bright. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we 
go. This guy's pretty much ready to go. Now I just have to finish the connection at the other end to feed the, the service through the fiber. And then we come back, program this guy, and we're all done. Okay guys, so here's the beginning end where the actual fiber service comes into the home. This is the main building and we're doing a fiber expansion from here over to the other end. I've installed a media converter which converts the ethernet signal from the modem to fiber through the S, uh, sorry, LC SC connector. In here I have my other drop that runs and wraps around the building and goes to that primary DMARC box. And then from there the, the fiber gets spliced and continues on to the back uh, utility room, that little cabin in the back. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But uh, just wanted to show you this here. It's a little sloppy here. The power cord wouldn't reach, but they're doing some renos here. So um, the customer's aware. And uh, just wanted to show you here. I did a speed test on their internet at this end. And we're gonna see what's happening at the other end. Ideally, we're gonna have the same speed. I think they're paying for 75 down, kind of a waste of fiber. You can get 1.5 gigabits on this, but uh, yeah. So here you go, normally I would wall mount all of this, but they just installed this panel and they're obviously doing some rentals, so I'm gonna leave it up to them. But uh, yeah, so this should all be good. The signal's being sent. I'm gonna go check out the other end. Just taking a little walk back down to the cabin, hopefully for the last time. Got my silicone and hopefully everything I need. A little spooky here at night. Okay, I'm gonna put the silicone first so I don't forget. Okay, let's power this guy up. And actually, I just wanted to test something before we get going there. Hey guys, so we're back after much troubleshooting. Last time I stopped filming, I was in here and I was getting negative 37 decibels on my light, which is no bueno. So I started tracing myself back and I went, you know what, let me go test right at the media converter inside the house to see and test my way back. So I went there and from the media converter I was getting negative 5 decibels, which is great, perfect. And then at the D mark on the post, I was getting negative 37, the same I was getting here. Start to lose my mind a little bit. I go back inside. I put a patch cord in. I put a patch cord in to the, the jack that the media converter is feeding, negative 37. Okay, pretty obvious what the issue is there. I replace the jack. I test again, negative 5. Perfect plug the drop back in, go back to the post and test, negative 37. 
did that a couple times and eventually after much how should I say this after trying a bunch I ended up just putting a green coupler one of these uh, SC to SC couplers inside that white termination box and I test it again at there negative five at the post negative five I come back negative five and even though we were getting 66 maybe 70 down over there as you can see I'm hardwired here and the speed is booming so I don't know what was going on with my tests over there on my Wi-Fi and even on my phone I'm getting the exact same speed so that's pretty good and I'm very happy with this so now I'm just going to configure the Wi-Fi put the password in send that over the, to the client and we're all happy so yeah this is a fiber expansion end to end um, with one splice point in the middle and uh, ideally we'd want a straight run uh, with uh, termination boxes at either end and that's where we split off to the media converter and either a smart RG uh, router like this or just double media converters and then to a uh, access point or another router it could be anything Linksys, Cisco, whatever but uh, yeah so this is us uh, we got speed all the way here from the main house we're approximately 150 meters away and um, blazing fast speed that uh, never is never never is going to go down so yeah